Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Lauren and in today's video I'm doing another Illuminated by Mia wax melts review. I have her pumpkin lovers collection this time around as well as one of her scoopables. I saw them I think like two or three weeks ago in her YouTube shorts and I was like oh that's interesting and then after that I got a comment on my last Illuminated by Mia video saying like hey I like this video. She has a new collection. Why don't you review that as well as some of the scoopables. So I was like well shoot, if people are asking for it, I might as well do it because I was already interested but it was just like the positive reinforcement. It was like, okay, that's the encouragement I need to go get it. So I purchased it and I got it. I have her full Pumpkin Lovers collection as well as one of the scoopables. I didn't get all the scoopables because my bank account is not set up that way but I digress because I got one at least. So yeah, we're going to get straight into this video. Alright, so here is the box. It also came with this little thank you card. Thank you for your order. So that was super sweet. And then it also says a little attention sticker during the summer months due to high temperatures, wax melt contents may shift in delivery. If you find your wax melt has shifted, please know you are still receiving 2.5 ounces of product and no contents are lost. If the contents have shifted, the products will still work the same. Thank you for your purchase illuminated by Mia. So yeah, that's really good to know because I did order this like mid or like late August when it was still hot basically. But yeah, let's go ahead. Ooh, there's a little bit of something on the side of the box, but not too much. But anyways, I'm going to do this in order as I see them in the box. And I'm gonna do it just like I did last time, just going through the notes and everything. So my first scent here is Pumpkin Donut. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Ooh, 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 okay, okay, wait a minute, wait a minute, let me move this to the side a little bit, wait a minute, okay, oh yeah, it did melt a little bit in transit, but now that's still the same amount, I think, give or take, I don't know, but this is kind of what it's looking like, see, it melted, but it's a really, really pretty orange color. And so let me, ooh, that's nice. Ooh, I, ooh, okay. This, this smell, this smells like a pumpkin donut. It's like, I can smell the pumpkin-y vanilla donut. Like, you know how you get those two mixes? Like, even though it's not a vanilla donut, it still has that, like, that vanilla feel to it. <gasps> oh, that is nice. Oh, I like this one. Ooh, ooh, I like this one. <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. I know this is the first one, but I really, really do like this one. Let me look at the details. Let me see. It smells like fresh pumpkin donuts with cinnamon sugar fall, fall spices, and vanilla. So I was right. There's vanilla in this. Mm-hmm. I like this. I like pumpkin donut. This is a 10 out of 10 for me. This, oh, I like this. I'm already excited to burn this one. So, Illuminated by Mia, you did your big one with that pumpkin donut. Mm, 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 mm. Okay, all right, let me get our next scent. Okay, my next one here is pumpkin pecan waffle. So let me look up, here it is. Okay, just to have the notes of it ready. Okay. Ooh, it's a really nice pale orange color. It's so cute, I like this. Let me see if I can get it to focus on the back of the packaging. See, it's like the nice, pretty pale orange color. And then, let me see. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah, I think they all melted a little bit in transit. Oh my goodness. Oh wow. Oh wow. Oh wow. Oh. Wow. oh. This smells like breakfast, like, like it smells, it smells like a cakey waffle is what it smells like. So it is pumpkin pecan waffles and I smell like the nutty after smell. Okay, okay illuminated by Mia. Okay, so this smells like golden waffles, pumpkin spice, brown sugar, and maple syrup. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Oh, this is a solid no. Oh, 
I want to give it a 10 out of 10, but I'm going to give it a 9.5. Just because, no, this is a 10 out of 10. This is a 10 out of 10. Wow. Wow. Okay. Where? Because I know I keep going <gasps> like that, but it smells so good. I swear, you guys. Like, I cannot make up how good this stuff smells. <gasps> I like this. I really like these. Okay, okay. So my next one here is pumpkin bourbon. It's a really nice like dark orangey brownie color almost. So like bourbon basically. So let me get its page open here. And let's open it up. Okay, I am excited. Okay. Ooh, this one didn't melt as much in transit, but it did a little bit. So it has like a little wavy pattern texture to it. Oh, but it is so pretty. It is so pretty, this color. Okay. Ooh. Now with this one, because I don't know what bourbon smells like. That's the thing. And it's supposed to be pumpkin bourbon, so it could be the bourbon smell taking it over, but it's good. It's good. I'm not getting so much of the pumpkin, but the smell is good though. Like regardless, even though I'm not getting all that pumpkin, it's, it's I like this. I like this a lot. Let me see, what are the notes for this? Let me see, here it is. What it smells like, bourbon, pumpkin, warm maple, brown sugar, and cinnamon. Okay, okay, so yeah, that's what this is. It's like the warm maple brown sugar, and the bourbon, I think, is what's overtaking the pumpkin smell, because I'm not so much getting the pumpkin, but I'm definitely getting all the other scents. And again, I don't know what bourbon smells like, but, So I'm going to give this, just because I don't really smell the pumpkin, I'm going to give this, I'm gonna give it an 8.9, just because of the pumpkin. But it smells good. <laughs> okay, 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 so let me get my next one out here. So this next one is pumpkin cider. Pumpkin cider. Okay. Ooh, it's a yellow color, kind of like the lemon sweethearts or something like that from her Valentine's collection. It's very pretty. It's not the same exact like neon yellow color, but it's like nice. It's close to it. So I like it. So let's. Open this up. Ooh, this one did melt a little bit. Let me show it to you. I just got a whiff of that scent. What? <laughs> this smells so good. Oh my God, this smells so... Oh my God. You guys, wait. Wait, let me let me say the notes before I get into it. It is warm pumpkin and apple cider, cinnamon, clove, nutmeg, and clementines. Okay, because I was about to say, I'm like, this smells like apple cider. <gasps> 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10. You guys don't know how much I love the smell of apple pie, apple cider during autumn and Christmas. My mom, when we go to Kroger, yeah, it's Kroger that we go to here in Georgia, when I tell you they have those apple, those like um, cinnamon, apple scented, like, um, what are they called? They're like the, like, you know, they look like old timey broomsticks, but like, it's just, it's like tied together and it smells so good. And you put it like in little vases in your house because it smells so good. <gasps> I swear to God, this smells like that. 10 out of 10, 12 out of 10, 1, 2.0. Wow, wow, we wow, that is good. Oh my god, 12 out of 10. Illuminated by Mia, if you ever come across this video, 
this pumpkin cider is a 12 out of 10. Like I don't, and I'm gonna be completely honest you guys, I don't smell the pumpkin because it smells very much like apple cider, but that is a 12 out of 10 for me. I almost hate to go to the next scent because this is my favorite so far. This is my favorite so far. Okay, the next one is pumpkin vanilla, all right? So I'm already expecting vanilla, of course, but let me open up the page for it. Okay, okay, that's open. Ooh, ooh, this one's a really pretty, like, milky white color. I like this. I like the colors so far. There we go. It's like a milky white. Ooh. Ooh. All right. Ooh. Let me see. Oh, this one's not gonna focus. Okay. Ooh. Let me see. What are the notes for this one? It smells like homemade marshmallows, pumpkin spice, caramel drizzle, and Tahitian vanilla. Okay, this makes sense because this smells like a spicy Rice Krispie treat. This is what this is. I'm not getting the pumpkin with this one, but I don't hate that I'm not getting the pumpkin. Do I wish the pumpkin was more prevalent? Yes, but do I hate that it's not? No, honestly. This is a good nine. This is a good nine out of ten with this. Mm-hmm. This is just a spicy Rice Krispie treat right here. Yeah, spicy Rice Krispie treat. Honestly, I'm getting like a back note of cinnamon for some reason, which is why I'm like really giving it the spicy, like the spicy um, descriptor. Maybe it's the Tahitian vanilla, or I don't know, or the pumpkin spice caramel drizzle, something in there, but I'm definitely smelling homemade marshmallows, caramel drizzle, and vanilla. So yeah, the Tahitian vanilla. nine out of ten nine out of ten it's good it's good okay now it is time for the blueberry pumpkin now this one really caught my eye because i was like how are you gonna get blueberry and pumpkin to like kind of meld together okay oh it's this really pretty pale blue color let me see if i can get my camera to focus you can see that a really pretty pale blue. Ooh. Ooh. No, this one's not gonna focus. I'll include pictures, of course. Oh. 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 Blueberry pancakes. Okay, back to what I was saying because my camera card kind of got full so I had to run, get rid of some old footage, and then come back. So back to blueberry pumpkin, blueberry pancakes. Just like I said before, blueberry pancakes. This is good. Like, I, I know it's supposed to be blueberry pumpkin and I definitely do get the hints of pumpkin, but with this, I think the pumpkin is making it like have that pancakey, bready smell to it, which... I am loving. I am la la loving. Mm hmm. This is a 9.5 for me because I love it, but it's not what I was expecting. But it's still a 9.5 because it smells like blueberry pancakes. Mm hmm. That's good. And so it smells like fresh blueberries, pumpkins, autumn spices, and brown sugar. So yeah, blueberry pancakes. Blueberry pancakes. So that is um, all of her Pumpkin Lovers collection. And so let me go ahead and do the scoopable. Now with the scoopable, I did not think it was going to be as big as it is, but it's big. It's a big boy. I think, which one did I get? I think I got the ice cream shop flavor. Yeah. Ooh. Okay. All right. Give me a second. Let me get all of this over here. Mm -mm -mm. And when I saw it on her shorts page, it looks so, um, it looks so, what's the word? What is the word? I don't know the word for what I'm trying to describe, but it, it looks so satisfying when she was scooping it. Ooh. 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 
Ooh, it does smell like an ice cream shop. Ooh, let me pull up the notes for it. Let me pull up the notes. Okay, so this is her ice cream wax melt scoopable, but she does have the ice cream shop um, regular wax melt. So that one is supposed to be malted ice cream, cotton candy, crushed almonds, vanilla bean, and butterscotch. Oh yeah. Oh yes. So it comes with a little spoon, and this is what it looks like, cause, and oh gosh, will you be able to see, will you be able to see this? Oh, there it is. There it is. So look, the spoon got melted under the wax, or because the wax melted, it's like stuck under the wax until, of course, you pry it out fairly easily. So I'm going to pry the spoon out. All right, okay. Do I have a napkin over here? Of course, I never have a napkin when I need one. All right. We're gonna get a little messy. So I'm gonna try to scoop this. <gasps> oh my God. Oh, wow. Let me get that to focus. Let me see, come on camera, do your thing. There we go. There we go camera, thank you for working with me. Oh my God. Oh, that is so much fun. Oh my goodness. Wait, let me try it again. Let me try it again. Let me get this camera to focus. Let me put this in the little divot, yet to the side. Okay, let's get this to focus. Come on camera. There we go. There we go. Oh. <gasps> Oh my goodness, illuminated by Mia. Girl, you don't know what you just did for me. <laughs> this is fun. Oh my goodness. Oh, that is nice. And what I like about this, you can pick how much you want. And cause with the regular wax melts, cause I like them regardless, with those, you can either do a full cube or you can like cut it in half, I think, cause they're jelly wax melts. So of course you can, but with this, you can scoop it slowly to get as much as you want, spoonful by spoonful. <gasps> My room is gonna smell so good this autumn. Oh yeah, and ice cream shop, I picked a good one because I only did one of these, so I really went through the um, the scents that she had at the time. I think there was like um, a strawberry scent and a purple scent. I can't remember all of them, but when I saw ice cream shop, I was like, ooh, well, I like the way ice cream smells. I don't know how ice cream shop is supposed to smell, but hopefully it smells good. And this smells like an ice cream shop, for sure. For sure. Illuminated by Mia. You need, oh my gosh, if you did the, the Pumpkin Lovers collection as a Scoopables collection, girl, you'd have all my flipping money. Cause look at how big this is. This is so big. It's 6.1 ounces and the wax melts are 2.5 ounces. Oh my God, <gasps> I would buy the full Pumpkin Lovers collection as a Scoopables collection. Oh my goodness. Just the satisfaction of like scooping it out and playing with it. She did her big one with this. You did amazing. Wonderful. So I digress. Um, let's go back over all of our ratings. <laughs> so we're going to go backwards I guess so pumpkin vanilla love it mm -hmm. Ooh, spicy rice krispie treat I can't even you know what I don't even remember what ratings I gave these all I know is that I love each and every one of them we're not going to go back through the ratings because I'm not going to redo all the ratings but just know every one of these scents is a knock out of the park it is did I use that right I don't know. All I know is that these are amazing and I love them and oh, I'm going to use them all autumn. 
and if I use these up, Illuminate My Mia, please, please stock these throughout autumn and winter, okay? Please. I doubt you're ever going to see this video, but someone tell her, please. Oh, God. I'm so happy with the purchase that I made today. Oh. This one right here, that pumpkin cider is my favorite. 12 out of 10 will come again. Hopefully it's brought back next year. And if not, I'm going to have to get my finances together to at least get two more pallets of it. Mm-hmm. That's that waffle smell. Ooh, pumpkin donut. Oh. Wait. Yeah. Ooh. So, yeah, you guys, I am thoroughly, thoroughly satisfied with my purchase from Illuminated by Mia. Thank you so much for showing up and showing out with these scents illuminated by Mia because I love each and every one of them in their own little way. Please remember to like, comment, and subscribe because I really appreciate it and it really helps out my channel. But with all that being said, I will see you guys in the next one. I am going to go now order a new wax melt warmer off of Amazon because my old one broke. Don't ask me how. I don't know. But I need a new one because I need to burn these scents this fall right now tomorrow. So bye guys. Mm -hmm.